stop using file converter websites. Often, applications like Premiere Pro or Spotify only work properly with certain files. FFmpeg is a free, open source command line application that allows you to convert files all locally on your computer. Let's get you set up. So to start off with, you can simply just Google FFmpeg. I'll have the link updated in the description. So once on the website, you're gonna click on your specific machine, you go down to builds, and we're looking for something along the lines of FFmpeg dash essentials dot zip. Uh, it might say release, uh, but we're looking for just the essentials in the dot zip version. Now that it's downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and right click it hit extract all and extract. So now uh, those files are going to be extracted outside of that folder. Here I'm going to local disk and we need a folder to put these files in. Um, I'm just gonna be using my YouTube-DL folder for my last video, but it doesn't really matter which folder you use. You can name it FFmpeg. Uh, the setup is going to be the same and we'll get through how to set up this folder. So here I am in local disk program files. I have made a YouTube-DL folder. And if we click in here, you can see I have the FF MPEG, FF Play, and FF Probe in there, as well as YouTube DL. That's irrelevant. Just make sure you have the FF MPEG uh, files in there. So once you have made the folder and have those files in, we're gonna go to Control Panel, System and Security, System, Advanced System Settings, and open up another window. We're looking for environmental variables on the bottom. And we're going to be creating a new user variable. So we're going to hit the top new um, and it'll open up a second window for us. So under the variable name uh, sort of box here, we're going to just type in path. And for variable value, we're going to want to put the location of the folder we just made, the folder that has FFmpeg in there. So we'll just type that in. And for me, I have uh, my YouTube DL folder. So whenever using FFmpeg, we'll have to be in the same location as our files. We can make that easier by setting up command prompt. Here, we'll go to command prompt, open file location, uh, right click command prompt again and go to properties, box that says start in. And we're just gonna wanna change that to our desktop. This means every time we launch command prompt from start, it'll launch it. Uh, in the directory of our desktop and we can do everything there. So once that is set up properly, we should just be able to open up command prompt from the start window and have it automatically open uh, to our desktop. As you can see, users, Sean to scene desktop. Uh, to begin with, we're going to want to type in FFmpeg, uh, then space dash I, dash I tells the program what file we're inputting. Um, so here, I'm using uh, a file named 007 at the beginning. So I'm going to type 007, then hit tab to have it auto complete. Uh, so once that file name is entered incorrectly, it should have some quotes over it. We're going to hit space and enter the new name and extension we want of the file. Um, here, I'm just keeping it the same, doing the same uh, 007 tab trick, but you can name it whatever you want and then change the dot part to whatever extension you want. So here we can do dot mp3, dot movie, uh, but here we're doing dot mp3 and then gonna click enter. And if we check the properties here, we can see that it is now converted to dot mp3 and is usable by us. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope that this video was helpful. Uh, you can leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below and I'll be sure to answer that. Um, please be sure to check out my YouTube DL tutorial. And yeah, thanks for watching.